The Great Artemis statue is one of the most impressive works of art from the ancient world. This magnificent statue was created in the 2nd century BCE and stood in the Temple of Artemis in Ephesus, which was one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. Although the statue no longer exists, its legacy has endured through the centuries. The Temple of Artemis in Ephesus was a significant religious site in the ancient world. It was dedicated to Artemis, the Greek goddess of the hunt, wilderness, childbirth, and virginity. The temple was located in the ancient city of Ephesus, which was situated on the western coast of modern-day Turkey. The temple was first constructed in the 6th century BCE, and it underwent several reconstructions over the centuries. The Great Artemis statue was created during the Hellenistic period, a time when Greek culture and art spread throughout the Mediterranean world. The statue was a representation of the goddess Artemis, and it was one of the most impressive works of art in the ancient world. The statue was made of marble and stood over 12 meters tall. The statue depicted Artemis as a powerful and regal figure, with her arms extended and a quiver of arrows on her back. The statue was adorned with various ornaments, including a crown of wild animals, bees, and the crescent moon, which was a symbol of the goddess. The great Artemis statue was not only a work of art but also a symbol of power and prestige. The Temple of Artemis was an important center of worship, and the statue was a representation of the goddess herself. The statue was also a symbol of the wealth and influence of the city of Ephesus. The city was a major trading center, and the temple attracted pilgrims from all over the Mediterranean world. The Orpheus mosaic is an ancient piece of artwork that was created in the 3rd century AD. It is a Roman mosaic that depicts the mythological figure Orpheus, who was a legendary musician and poet in Greek mythology. The mosaic is considered to be one of the most significant pieces of Roman art, and it has been studied and admired by scholars and art enthusiasts for centuries. The Orpheus mosaic is located in the city of Paphos, which is situated on the southwestern coast of the island of Cyprus. The mosaic was discovered in the late 19th century, during excavations of the ancient city of Nea Paphos, which was the capital of Cyprus during the Hellenistic and Roman periods. The mosaic was found in the remains of a Roman villa, which was likely the home of a wealthy Roman citizen. The mosaic is made up of tiny colored stones, which have been carefully arranged to create a stunning work of art. The image depicts Orpheus playing his lyre while surrounded by various creatures, including birds, animals, and mythical beasts. The scene is set in a lush landscape, with trees, hills, and a river in the background. The Orpheus mosaic is significant not only for its beauty but also for the story it tells. Orpheus was a legendary musician and poet in Greek mythology. He was said to be the son of the god Apollo and a muse, and he was gifted with a beautiful singing voice and the ability to play the lyre. According to legend, Orpheus was so talented that he could charm even the gods themselves with his music. The Alexander sarcophagus is an ancient Greek sarcophagus that was created in the 4th century BC. The sarcophagus is named after Alexander the Great, as it is believed to have been made for one of his close companions or family members. The sarcophagus is considered to be one of the most important examples of Hellenistic art, and it is widely regarded as a masterpiece of ancient Greek sculpture. The Alexander sarcophagus was discovered in the royal necropolis of Sidon, which is located in modern-day Lebanon. The sarcophagus was found in 1887 by a French archaeologist named Osman Hamdi Bey, who was conducting excavations in the area. The sarcophagus was in remarkably good condition, with much of its original paint and decoration still intact. The Alexander sarcophagus is made of white marble and is decorated on all sides with intricate relief sculptures. The sculptures depict various scenes from Greek mythology and history, including battles, hunting scenes, and religious rituals. The figures are highly detailed, with individualized features and expressions, and the overall effect is one of great realism and drama. One of the most striking features of the Alexander sarcophagus is its size. It measures over 2 meters in length and is over 1 meter tall. The sarcophagus is also notable for its intricate carving and decoration, which includes ornate borders, intricate floral patterns, and delicate filigree. The Temple of Zeus is an ancient Greek temple located in Olympia, Greece. It was built in the 5th century BC and was dedicated to Zeus, the king of the Greek gods. The temple was one of the most important religious sites in ancient Greece and was home to the famous statue of Zeus, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. Construction of the Temple of Zeus began in 470 BC and was completed in 456 BC. 
The temple was designed by the architect Liban of Elis, who was one of the most famous architects of his time. The temple was built on the site of an earlier temple, which had been destroyed by fire. The Temple of Zeus was a massive structure, measuring 64.12 meters in length and 28.96 meters in width. It was built in the Doric style, which was characterized by simple, sturdy columns and a lack of decorative ornamentation. The temple had 34 columns, each of which was over 10 meters tall. One of the most impressive features of the Temple of Zeus was its sculptural decoration. The pediments of the temple were decorated with sculptures that depicted scenes from Greek mythology, including the labors of Heracles and the battle between the Lapiths and the Centaurs. The sculptures were highly detailed and realistic, with a great deal of attention paid to the musculature and movement of the figures. The Puzur Ishtar statue is an ancient Mesopotamian sculpture that dates back to the 3rd millennium BC. The statue is a representation of a prince from the city of Mari, which was located in what is now modern-day Syria. The statue is one of the most important examples of Mesopotamian art, and it is widely regarded as a masterpiece of ancient sculpture. The Puzur Ishtar statue is made of bronze and stands over half a meter tall. It depicts a male figure in a seated position, with his hands clasped in front of him. The figure is adorned with intricate jewelry, including bracelets, anklets, and a necklace. He also wears a kilt and a headdress. The statue is notable for its attention to detail and its intricate carving. The figure's face is highly realistic, with individualized features and a distinct expression. The jewelry and clothing are also highly detailed, with delicate patterns and intricate designs. Gabaklype, located in southeastern Turkey, is an ancient archaeological site that has attracted the attention of researchers and enthusiasts alike for its unique and enigmatic features. One of the most striking features of Gabaklype is the T-shaped pillars that are found throughout the site. In this article, we will explore the significance of these T-shaped stones and what they tell us about the people who built Gabaklype. Gabaklype was first discovered in the 1960s by researchers from the University of Istanbul, but it wasn't until the 1990s that excavations began in earnest. The site, which is estimated to be over 11,000 years old, predates the construction of Stonehenge by several thousand years and challenges many of our assumptions about the origins of human civilization. The T-shaped pillars at Gabaklype are perhaps the most distinctive and recognizable feature of the site. These pillars stand between 3 and 6 meters tall and are carved from limestone. Each pillar has a broad base that tapers to a narrower shaft, which is then topped by a T-shaped capstone. 